So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the testing results for the Mamba 1103 8500KV motors. I've tested a bunch of toothpick motors, which you guys will see the data later on. Right now, we're going to compare it to a couple motors in its current price or current class category, we could call it, which is, for example, the Flywoo 7600, even though it's lower KV, but it's still in the range of that type of KV, we can call it. Also, the 1102 Happy model, 8,700 kV, which is my personal favorite motor, not in terms of durability or anything, but in terms of efficiency. Uh, we still have yet to find one in, uh, that I really like in, in that kind of efficiency range, but we'll take a look at the graphs and uh, check this together. Now, before continuing on, make sure you join my Patreon. I have a ton of giveaways that I'm giving out. And you also get access to all my schematic project files, and you also get access to my secret shop where I sell a bunch of old stuff that I have for super cheap just because it's just collecting dust so let's take a look at the results and uh, we'll take it from there all right so now we're taking a look at just the mumba 1103 8000 kv on the left we have the 2shv test and on the right we have the 3shv test now uh, if we take a look at just the full throttle right now now let's make sense of this graph real quick the blue lines represent the thrust the red lines represent the current and the yellow line represents the efficiency so we could get an overall efficiency reading and they all have been tested on the same propeller which is i think uh what is it called the happy model 65 millimeter the one that's found everywhere uh, i don't have one next to me now but the one that i'm just using is like super cheap you get like 100 of them for like 20 bucks or something anyways so those are the propellers that I used for this testing. Later on, I'll incorporate more, but that's in a later video. The Mumba on a 2SHV gets some pretty great results, actually. So we get 141 grams of maximum thrust on full throttle, which is really great. But the amp draw is still quite high here, 7.38 for these little tiny toothpicks. That is pretty high here. So it is a pretty powerful motor. Even on the 2S, it's, it's soaking up a lot of current. But if we take a look at the efficiency chart, we see that it's most efficient towards 75% uh, throttle. Usually it's around 50% throttle, but 50% throttle was still also pretty good here at 2.63. Uh, kilogram force per watt but here we have 2.71 which is it's where we can say it's peak efficiency and four amps is pretty acceptable so 88 grams usually these quadcopters would weigh or these toothpicks would weigh roughly around between 44 grams to 58 grams here so one motor could pick up the whole quadcopter here and don't forget this is just one motor and usually it has four motors so on a 2s it would not be dead it would actually perform pretty great but when we move over to the 3S HV, it actually loses some of its efficiency here, uh, almost by one kilogram force uh, per watt, especially on the 75% throttle. Now, if we start with the 50% throttle here, the reason why I didn't put 25% uh, throttle is because it's useless here. I mean, there's no real results on 25% on throttle. So we start from 50% throttle. So we see at 50% throttle, it gets 84 grams of thrust at 3 amps. That's pretty good. Uh, that's actually really great on the 3s around 50 percent throttle that's going to get you going that could be efficient um or it could be pretty damn efficient depending on the way you fly but if you punch out look it's pulling roughly a quarter of a kilogram of thrust at 12 amps at 13 amps actually we can say so the higher the throttle you go on the mamba 1103 on a 3s the lower the efficiency drops here so keep that in mind in the way you fly if you're looking for like a super efficient setup for nice cinematic photography. Uh, right now I'm working actually on my own HD toothpick frame with Flywoo. So that could be coming up very soon. With, I'm also helping developing their new uh, Crazy Bee type board for toothpicks. So uh, hopefully it's going to be good. Maybe you guys could see something by next month on that. Now around 75% throttle, we get 157 grams of thrust here at 6 amps. It's still it's still pretty power hungry or amp hungry here so it is a pretty powerful motor here and you can kind of simulate or you can kind of see the, the graph for the overall efficiency drop as the throttle goes up on a 3s unlike what we saw on the 2s now let's move away from the 2s mamba and i want to compare it with my motors that i really like that i'm putting in the same category which is the happy model 1102 8500 kv on a 3s and the Flywoo 1103 7650KV 7, on 3S here. So now we're comparing these two motors together. The KVs are different, so this is not going to be as powerful, obviously, because we're getting lower KV. It's not spinning as fast as the Mamba's 8500KV here. Now, if we take a look at the Flywoo's peak full throttle performance or thrust, we see we get 162 grams of thrust here 
at roughly seven and a half amps. Now, if we compare the full throttle of the Flywheel to the Mumba, we see that the Mumba was actually um, getting to the Flywheel's full throttle at around 75% throttle. But then again, that's due to the KV. Um, so we can take a look, for example, at the efficiency here. And what we see is that the Mumba would actually be more efficient than the Flywheel here. So, but the Flywheel theoretically would have a bit more torque and um, it's it's gonna vary from quad to quad, but you know you can take this information. I just want to put numbers to this. It's really difficult to kind of uh, draw a relation between all the data. I'm having a hard time compiling all these motors and actually thinking of a way to present them to something useful. But both of these would be pretty good. It depends on your setup. I actually really love the Flywoo 7650 KV. I've put them on a iFlight here. This one that I burnt the motors on before, and um, it flies really great. I, I freaking love it. I don't even know if I released. A Video. I should release a video on that. They're really great motors and they handle a nice beating. So that's that's also a nice thing here. So here are the results for these. But now I want to compare it with what I call one of the most efficient or I thought it was the most efficient motor on the market because this thing was giving me like pretty da damn good flight time, which is a happy model 1102 8500 KV on a 3S. Now you need to take something into consideration with this motor. Unfortunately, the motor holes on the happy model 1102 8500KV takes three screws and it will not fit into a normal frame that has the four type screws, kind of like the Mamba and the Flywoo. So you are limited in terms of frames and you need to take that into consideration before you go and purchase it or else you just might have it just hanging around with no frame to put it on. So keep that in mind here. But now I really wanted to compare the overall efficiency because uh, this is where I, you know, we actually see if it's really as efficient or something else would be a bit more efficient here and um, obviously this is a smaller motor so it's one millimeter smaller so it's 1102 compared to the mamba's 1103 here and what we see full throttle here we're getting around seven amps at 127 grams that's totally fine and again because these weigh around 44 grams to 50 something grams so so it's not going to be underpowered that's one thing for sure here so if we take a look at the 50 percent throttle that's what i was telling everyone that these were the most efficient at the happy model for example the happy model sailfly and what we can see is we, we were getting 1.6 kilograms uh, 1.6 amps uh, drawn at 46 grams of thrust so this is kind of you could consider it when you're flying it's a four to one thrust ratio thrust to weight ratio so we have four times the thrust of the weight of the uh, micro quadcopter because usually they're around again 40 something grams um, so the overall efficiency is around 50 percent throttle on this would be really great but this is like cruising speed and, um, you know, I highly doubt on the Mamba you'll really be able to push 100% throttle and get those 230 grams of thrust at 12 amps. 12 amps is quite a lot of amps for a tiny motor. Uh, the Happy Model 1102, I am thinking that the 1102 size I think would be the best and most appropriate for these toothpicks. Maybe at 1102.5. Um, I might talk to Flywoo and maybe help them develop 1102.5, 8000... 450 kV or 8,300 kV would be pretty interesting actually. We can see what we can do with that one. Now these results don't tell you what is bad, what is good. They're actually all pretty good motors. Um, it's just you look at it and you decide what fits your needs best. It's difficult to tell you what's good and what's bad. I mean, there isn't a good and a bad. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video here. You could take a look at it soon. I'll have this available maybe into my own website uh, that actually I will be posting every ESC test I've done and I'll be doing more ESC testing again very soon. Currently I got a new assistant and I'm still training him on the ESC testing now. He's doing all my motor testing. So I'll have a website just dedicated for those things that should be up within two months time and uh, and again i'm still trying to figure out a way to represent this data as uh comprehensible as possible because it's very difficult for even me to comprehend all these motors and again join my patreon there's a ton of giveaways this this month i'm giving away sky zone oleds and some other things also some pre-built quadcopters that i've done some even my like 400 dollars builds i'm giving away just back to you guys so yeah come join my patreon you get a bunch of access to all kinds of stuff like my secret shop and also my schematics and everything and it does support the channel and allow me to create more content or more useful content like for example be able to rip the motor off of a drone that i'm currently reviewing get its measurements also later on probably take the esc out get its rev measurement so i give you a full detailed review with the flight footage so you'll be able to make your purchase and that's what the whole idea is about here so if you guys are able to support me on patreon that'd be super great uh then i can have my assistant work full time and would be able to do some really good stuff for the community and um very interesting stuff to know how everything is testing and i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one peace out guys